I'm a big believer that coaches should almost try to put themselves out of a job. Like you're doing your job well, if, if you're sort of like pretending that you're trying to turn your athlete into a coach. You're going to be a better coach and a better author of a training plan. Um, if you've been through the same steps that you're going to be asking the athletes that read your plans to follow. So being the best athlete that you can be first and learning all that you can as an athlete before you make that transition to an author and a coach. Like a training plan, it, we tend to think of it as just a blueprint or a set of instructions. And, you know, at its core, it, it is that. But it's also an experience. It behooves coaches to recognize that. So make it fun. Make it interesting. You know, if you look at our plans, like every single workout tile in the entire plan, it could be a 24 week long plan, has some original content in it. My guests today are the founders of 8020 Endurance, David Warden and Matt Fitzgerald. 8020 Endurance is one of the pioneers of training plans, having sold their first plan within the Training Peaks marketplace back in 2005. Their plans have helped hundreds of thousands of athletes of all experience and ability levels achieve their goals. David Warden is an internationally recognized coach and author. His clients include world age group duathlon champions and multiple Ironman World Championship qualifiers. He is the co-author of Triathlon Science, the industry standard for triathlon coaches, as well as the book 8020 Triathlon. Matt Fitzgerald is an acclaimed endurance sports coach, nutritionist, and author. He has written over 30 books, including The Endurance Diet, 8020 Running, and How Bad Do You Want It? I hope you enjoyed today's episode and can learn a thing or two about how training plans can benefit your training and help you achieve your personal goals. David, Warden, Matt, Fitzgerald, you guys are legends in the sport, uh, in the business of triathlon coaching. So psyched to have you on. Um, it looks like you're, you're both in hotel rooms, so it looks like travel is, is back. So, so, uh, so great to have you on the CoachCast today. Thanks, Dirk. Glad to be here. Very glad to yeah. be with you, Dirk. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah, sure. You know, um, I'd love to find out more about both of you. So for those that don't know who you are, get a little background. Um, and then how did you guys actually team up and start this business together of 8020? Um, so uh, yeah, David, give us a little more background on yourself and how you got into the sport and, and into coaching. Yeah, you know, I, I found myself about uh, 15 years ago continually giving unsolicited advice to individuals about triathlon training and, uh, and realized that uh, maybe I could provide some value to more people than just my neighbors and in-laws and, and started the podcast um, and that uh, went pretty well. And then my, my big break actually was when uh, Joe Friel gave me a call. He said, I heard your podcast. Guy. I like it. I'd like you to, yep, I'd like you to help me out with a few things. Uh, he was creating Training Bible Coaching asked me to join his advisory board. I met a whole bunch of incredible people as part of that process. And so I owe a lot to, to Joe and uh, for uh, who I am today. And then it just sort of spiraled out of control in terms of opportunities for coaching and, and writing books. Um, and uh, to the point where 8020 is the, you know, where we're at today with a successful business, helping hundreds of thousands of athletes. So what are some of the books that you've, uh, that you've written? Uh, 8020 Triathlon with Joe Friel, or I'm sorry, the Triathlon Science edited by Joe Friel, and then 8020 Triathlon with Matt Fitzgerald. Nice, awesome. And and Matt, you're kind of what books have you not written? I mean, <laughs> how many how many books have you written to, to date so far? Yeah. Uh, someone actually the other day uh, said they counted the ones on my website and said 31, 31. And there's yeah. another 31 in the in the making probably come coming shortly behind them. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know. I, I don't really like when this topic comes up because it just seems <laughs> I don't know. Like, like, like I'm this like this pulp fiction guy. Like I would rather write one great book than you know the most books. But uh, yes, I have written a lot just because like I love it. I, I grew up wanting to be a writer. My dad's a writer. It's kind of the family business, and I have lots of ideas too. And so yeah, there there are more coming. So. Brace yourself. So how'd you get into the sport? <laughs> um, I, I, uh, so I'm a chip off the old block. I got both the, the writing and the running from my father. Uh, my dad ran his first marathon in 1983. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Started running the next day. I was 11 years old. 
um, ran in high school, uh, left the sport for a little while, but then got back into it with kind of a, you know, a, a mission to finish unfinished business. Um, by that point, I was also working as uh, an endurance sports journalist. Um, and so uh, that was really the thing that kind of, you know, lit the fire. I was just surrounded by athletes and coaches and, and, you know, traveling to events and it just made me want to be part of it again. And, you know, it's a slippery slope. I thought I was just going to be like a casual hobby jogger. And then, you know, before I knew it, I'm running marathons and getting into triathlon um, and then into coaching. Uh, and uh, yeah, don't, don't regret a, a step of it. <laughs> okay. So then how do you two end up teaming up together? You know, Matt had a, a writing assignment. My, my home state is Utah, and he had an assignment to come and do an article um, in, uh, in Utah. And uh, I was asked to provide uh, free room and board for this, uh, this famous writer. And so Matt and I got to spend a whole bunch of time together. I picked him up at the airport. We spent all day together. I was, you know, driving around the area. Um, and we just hit it off. Um, and uh, we had some good chemistry. Uh, and uh, he asked if I could help him with a couple of, uh, you know, assignments he needed. And then it grew and grew. And then we had the thought that uh, we could really take this as a business, the 80-20 concept based on Matt's uh, great book, 80-20 Running, um, and created the uh, you know, co-authored the second book, 80-20 Triathlon. Um, there was enough demand there that we felt like we could uh, really provide value to athletes and expand those plans on the Training Peaks platform um, to, uh, you know, to kind of grow the 80-20 brand and the business. Huh. So... What all does 8020 offer now? I mean, you have the books, obviously training plans. Is there anything out? Do you do, is there coaching going on or, or any other type of serv training camps, anything like that going on within the 8020 uh, business offering? Yeah, we made a, like a strategic decision a, a couple of years ago. Now it might be, it's all blur, maybe more than a couple of years ago um, to, to sort of diversify our offerings. So, you know, training plans for us go all the way back to 2005, I think. Um, I, I, though that's when I made my first, you know, set of run training plans uh, for, for training peaks. Um, and, and so, and then it was all, it was just that, you know, training plans, training plans, training plans for over a decade. Um, and then we decided to, uh, you know, just th there was su such a demand, like people, people who like 80, 20 endurance training plans, love them. And so we've always been a very demand driven operation. So people just wanted more. So we thought, you know, let's offer more and create, you know, just like a 360 degree experience for people who just would, would probably get an 80, 20 endurance tattoo if we, if we asked them to. So, you know, we, we launched a podcast, we have our own book publishing imprint now, um, we, uh, are rolling out our, our own coaching certification, uh, the course, huh. um, we have an, uh, an online uh, learning event called, uh, the endurance event that, uh, um, uh, we, we kicked off last year in January and it's going to come back next year. Uh, we have a, um, a charitable foundation, uh, the coaches of color initiative, uh, to try and increase in diversity and endurance yeah, and sports. Training piece is a part of that. I saw that's, yep. that, that's great. Thanks for spearheading that. Yeah, well, thank you for your support because it's it is sort of um, a resource of an intensive program. I mean, we're trying to ch change lives, you know, not not a whole bunch of lives, but we we want to. Uh, we've had one apprenticeship grant uh, awarded so far. We changed this one per person's life, and we're going to do it again and again and again. So, thank you for your support on that. So, much more to come. We are going to get into more of the, like the hands-on coaching because um, okay. you know training plans are great. The ready-made training plans are great, but they do have limitations. Um, and so we, we want to, we, we really are coaches first and foremost, and that is, we, you know, we want to do everything we possibly can, you know, through mostly an online medium to help co uh, athletes succeed in their journey. Although we are involved in camps and uh, I mentioned to you offline before we, you hit record that I'm moving to Flagstaff and I actually, we're going to open up a, uh, a retreat for an in-person retreat, 360, uh, 365 days a year. Uh, a place where athletes can come and sort of live like pros uh, for wow. a little while. Yep. Wow. Is that so? That's trail and road running focus, both. Yeah, it's we. It's in partnership with. So in in the summer of 2017, I was embedded with the uh, Northern Arizona Elite uh, professional running team, and it was just 
it was the best 13 weeks of my life. I mean, like, you know, if you if you if you're a geek for endurance sports, you get it right. You know, yeah. it's like you're living the dream. Um, you know, it's like, how you know, how good could I be if like I was just, you know, you know, not just training like the pros, but living like the, the pros and with them. And so ever since I had that experience and I wrote a, a, a book about it, um, you know, I've, I've 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 wanted to make something like it available to other athletes. And and so that's what I'm doing. Uh, we hope to, to, to we want not we don't hope to we will roll. We will open doors next spring. Um, and it'll awesome. be, yeah, it'll just be like another, so, you know, who knows, um, like I said, we're demand driven. So when, if people want something from us, we'll, we'll find a way to provide it. Yeah. Okay. So, so back to training plans, this is the episode, all things training plans. Um, how many training plans do you guys have on offer? Wow. You know, right now we have almost 600, um, yeah, almost 600 plans. Um, it's a uh, combination of, we have swim plans, run plans, triathlon plans. It's a lot. And it's also depends a little bit on how you count them because it's, it's complicated. Look, take, take marathon plans, right? We, um, we, so a marathon is one distance, right? But we offer four levels, um, basically, you know, training load levels for, you know, you know, for beginner or low volume athletes all the way up to, sub elite or high volume athletes. So four levels for that one distance. And then of course you have different intensity metrics, right? So we, we try to, and this is really advice for any coach, like not everyone trains by pace who is a runner, not every cyclist. Well, hopefully every cyclist uses power, but not all do, right? Some do use heart rate. Um, so, so if you multiply the metrics times the levels, you get a lot of what, you know, it's, a, it's, you know, four times, and we even have RPE based plans. So it's like four times four, 16 plans just for the marathon. And then we have, you know, 5k, 10k, half marathon, marathon. Um, and then we have goal focused plans. So they're not all event focused. Like it's, if you just want to devote a block to getting faster or building your endurance, we've got that, we've got maintenance plans. So they keep proliferating. I drive David nuts because I keep like I, right now I'm, I'm actually in the process of, process of creating plans. So I, I talk as if we're all running, but we have triathlon, cycling, obstacle course racing too. One of the cool things about the 80-20 shtick is that it does apply to all endurance disciplines. Like, you know, what the science says is that if you're an endurance athlete, regardless of discipline, you should be doing about 80% of your training at low intensity, the rest at moderate to high. So this applies to cross-country skiing, stand-up paddleboarding. Paddle we don't have plans for for those sports yet, but we, but we will rowing. Um, yeah. So it's a lot of plans. I, like I said, I drive David nuts. Cause I, and I, I was almost finished saying that I'm creating uh, uh, race focused running plans for uh, masters and injury prone athletes. So they have longer micro cycles, nine day week, you know, training weeks versus seven, they've built in cross training. Um, and so that's going to like, that's going to be another 40 or 50 plans right there. So it's like, you know, in, in business terms, it's like the theory of the long tail, right? Like, like you know, like in terms of if you looked at the distribution of of sales, uh, or you know, app application or you know, plans applied for our plans. Of course, there are some that sell, you know, much better than others. But everything we've created is used by someone, and and that's and you know, that's sort of our approach. Um, we want to cover you know every base. Hmm. So, so David, you know, sounds like there's, you mentioned 600 or more plans. If you were to sit down with a triathlete, what kind of questions would you ask them to try and get them to the proper plan for them? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we hope we do a good job of this at our website, too. We, we have a place that lists all the plans and the demands of those plans. So really, our, we encourage athletes to pick the maximum level that they can commit to. So what's the maximum amount of time? If you know that a level two plan requires this many average hours per week, this many workouts per week by swim, bike, run, um, this many peak hours at your peak week, you're going to be at 18 hours, let's say, for a half Ironman or an Ironman plan. Um, can you commit to that? Um, so they, they know what they're getting into because some people will, uh, of course, overcommit or some people um, don't. Uh, aren't able to really understand um, 
what 18 hours of training means. It also means travel and, and showering and stretching. And it's much more than just that. So we feel like we do a good job on our website or corresponding direct with the athlete for them to know exactly what, what they're committing to. Um, we'd also want to know, is this your first time event? Is it, are you a veteran? Um, but even those questions don't necessarily silo anyone individually uh, into a, a certain level. We have a lot of individuals who love um, our level one plan who are elite athletes because the time commitment is lower. And so that they, they know that they can commit just 12 hours a week to training uh, as opposed to, you know, 20 hours that they used to do when they had that much more time and they can still complete an Ironman successfully on that lower volume. Um, so our, our levels aren't are necessarily associated with ability. Um, or with elite status, it's really associated with um, how much time do you have to train and what fits in best with your lifestyle. So we ask those lifestyle and goal questions. Huh. Okay, so there's many free plans out there you can print out from any number of magazines online. Um, so it sounds like you can just get yeah. more granular with your training plans and find the exact right plan for the right person because you have so many offerings. Yes. You know, Matt talks about demand driven and, he, and that's right. But a lot of our business is also based on sort of a, if we build it, they will come. What Matt does is he, he does a great job of anticipating what are the next needs that athletes are going to want? What are they going to want next? Or what, what are the holes that we have to fill? So we, we frankly don't do a lot of market research. Like we don't go out and, and poll or, or pay companies to say, what's the next thing? What's company, uh, what's coming? Matt just says, this is where I see we're not filling the portfolio. This is where we have a gap in our offerings. This is what is really needed. Um, he just mentioned the example of these masters and injury prone. You know, it's if we just sold masters and injury prone plans, we'd sell 50 plans, 100 plans a month, right? But mm -hmm. like Matt says, it's the long tail of, of multiple needs that we can, once you accept the 80-20 concept that that's the right intensity balance, regardless if you're an elite or a, a, an amateur or a novice athlete, it applies to everything. And so we can take that model and apply it to master's athletes, injury prone, all sorts of endurance sports, sports cycling, swimming, running. Um, and so that's one of the ways we think we can differentiate ourselves from, from other coaches is a consistent philosophy applied to all endurance silos. Huh, yeah. And, and Matt, I mean, I saw a subscription as well uh, on your website. So do you, do you sell a la carte one-off plans as well as access to multiple plans through subscription? What does the subscription get you? Yeah. So, you know, the world is moving in the direction of subscriptions. Um, you know, I, you know, I go back to the days when people were really, really, really nervous about subscribing to anything online, but <laughs> you know, things have evolved and, um, it, you know, it's just, uh, subscriptions make sense for the type of, um, business we operate where um, it's very, very few people just do one race and then move on and take up bowling or what, whatever. You know, it's a lifestyle. People are doing yeah. this all year round, year after year after year. So it just makes sense. And it allows us to provide uh, more value to people if um, we offer a subscription that gives them full access to, to you know, everything we've got, um, you know, you know, so, you know, they're, it, it conforms to their lifestyle because they're going to go, you know, they're, they're, when they finish their, you know, Ironman 70.3, they're going to maybe take a week off, but then they're into maintenance training and then base training and then building up for the next season. So, you know, if, if they have a subscription with us, um, they can get more total plans, you know, the, 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 you know, the lifetime use of plans is not going to cost them as much if they're just paying um, you know, a pretty reasonable monthly subscription fee. And that also allows them to layer on top of their endurance plans, strength training plans, mobility plans. We even have um, uh, mental skills training plans. So with subscription, you can see, you know, you're just getting a lot um, of, of, of value um, just by, you know, and we, we get, you know, I guess the you know, from a business perspective, the security of that recurring monthly revenue, but that's not really what it's about. It's just, it just makes sense for, for us and for athletes to, to offer. Yeah. yeah. And Dirk, it's, it's common for a company to always say, Hey, our subscription model will add value, right? When, when really I just want more money for the consumer, but I want to, you know, assure the, the listener and the athlete that our subscriptions really do add value. If you were to take all the individual plans and map out a year of, let's say you want training peaks premium, 
and you want to do an Ironman and a half Ironman and maybe a half marathon in there, and you want some strength and core strength and flexibility and mobility, if you added all that up, whether it was from us or from another coach, it would be hundreds and hundreds of dollars for all of those plans in a year plus training peaks premium but our subscriptions can combine that and have you pay a fraction of the cost for access to all of those services and all of those plans yeah no i love the idea you know certainly you know as you mentioned of layering you know within training peaks you could have you know two plans at the same time that complement yes. each other you know the strength plus the triathlon or whatever it might be um do you have do you have plans where you know if you're a triathlete but you're weak in a certain sport you kind of have a plan for each sport to try and improve that sport during, you know, far out away from your a priority race, you know, so, so triathletes kind of, kind of focus in on their, their weakest sport. Yes. Let me give a few specific examples. Um, we have, for example, a, a cycling time trial FTP boost for both, um, 40 K and 20 K distances. We have what we call our swim strong plans. Um, these are specifically designed to just build your swim technique and endurance. Uh, Matt's built a run faster plan and a build run endurance plan. Um, they're specifically, as the name implies, to be able to run faster and to, and to run longer. Um, we have individual plans for mobility for athletes that struggle with, with mobility. Almost all those options layer on top of a main plan that you would add that on top of your regular Ironman or marathon training uh, and be able to build those weaknesses into strengths while you're working on your base um, goal event at the same time. Hmm. So what are the, what's the price range? If you were to buy, you know, one off plan versus a subscription, what, what kind of prices are we talking about? Yeah, our, um, we have a whole bunch of flexibility there. So uh, to give you a couple examples, our, our most popular right now is certainly our annual gold subscription. Um, so that gives you one year of Training Peaks Premium. So we bundle in that Training Peaks Premium right there, which is a, a retail cost of $120, um, and then access to any of those plans. Um, a, a good our price for an Ironman plan is is $85. A marathon sure. plan is $50. Um, you'll find you could pay $150 for an individual plan. You could you could pay you know $30 for an individual plan. So that's about a reasonable range. So if you were to buy two or three plans plus Training Peaks Premium, that would be three to four hundred dollars in services and plans, whether from us or from anybody else. But our annual gold subscription is only one hundred eighty dollars. So you're just paying sixty bucks more than Training Peaks Premium to add on a complete buffet of any plan that you want, and not only that, but to build your weaknesses into strengths with those add-on plans of core and mobility and swimming and running and cycling. On top of that, we also offer monthly plans at uh, as as little as twenty dollars a month for subscriptions. Um, but those are our most popular options: is a monthly subscription that includes Training Peaks, or an annual subscription that gives you access to all of our plans. And if I can add one other benefit that we have is it also includes our five thousand um, work five thousand plus workout library. Meaning, in addition to our six hundred plans, we've built those plans on a on a proprietary library of five thousand workouts in, natively in Training Peaks that you can build your own plan, right? It's nice to have this prepackaged plan with the 80-20 concept, but if there's a day that you're like, you know what, I'm gonna do my own plan this week, you can drag and drop these pre-built structured workouts right from this library based on pace, power, heart rate, perceived effort, whatever your intensity type preference is, drag that into your Training Peaks calendar, and in a matter of minutes, you have your custom plan created for the week based on this established and incredible and proven workout library. Wow, lots. <laughs> Matt, uh, David mentioned structured workouts. Uh, for those that don't know the benefits of a structured workout, what kind of added benefits does that give you besides just a, a text-based workout? Yeah, it's, it's um, you know, it's a, a higher level of hand holding or, or guidance uh, for the athlete. Um, so, you know, a structured workout, I mean, all workouts are structured, right? Um, but you know, the uh, Training Peaks Workout Builder allows coaches um, to essentially program that structure. So instead of, you know, just, you know, you know words and numbers for the athlete to follow, um, there's sort of a, a, a backend version of that that is downloadable to, you know, a wide range of, of, of compatible devices. And then you're simply prompted through uh, the workout. So it's, you know, it's broken down into segments of different uh, durations uh, for time-based workouts or distances um, for distance-based workouts. 
And then um, it's got your intensity zone. So whatever we have our own 80-20 zone system, but there are others. Um, and so, you know, when it's time to speed up from zone one to zone four, you're prompted to do that. When it's time to dial back down to zone one to recover, you're prompted to do that. So you don't have to, you know, just remember everything or create a cheat sheet like the bad old days. Um, so we're proud to say, and, and this is a hat tip to David, when this, when this functionality became available, we were among the very first coaches uh, on the platform to take advantage of it. It was you know, quite a bit of work up front for us, but we just um, we knew athletes would love it. And we knew eventually that it would be something that you really had to do as a coach um, in order to you know, just compete, to provide a level of service that, that athletes were expecting. Um, and so all of our workouts and all of our plans uh, contain structured workouts now, and there's no going back. <clears throat> I remember the days where I used to have to write my workout on my hand, Matt, right? I, it got, got complicated enough where I'd have to write that sucker and take a look at it and before I, I knew what to do. But now with structured workouts, you just wake up and go. You literally just uh, wake up in the morning, the workout's on your watch, and you can perform that workout and know exactly what you need to do. Yeah, you know why I really like structured workouts is on the bike. I love it, you know, for the indoor training aspect, you know, when you have a smart trainer and coaches such as yourself have put so much time and effort into building that structure. Um, it literally just takes care of the workout for you. You know, the resistance is taken care of. You can do it in Zwift or trainer road and a number of other, um, apps out there. So yeah, as you said, Matt, we're, we're not going back, you know, structured workouts are here to stay. They're awesome to have on the watch just to kind of keep you on, on track during the workout. Um, have you guys ever had experience with athletes needing to change between training plans and any kind of guidance or words of advice? If maybe someone got in over their head or they end up getting injured, you know, what kind of scenarios have you guys helped athletes through? You know, there's two ways that I think we go actually three ways that we can really help athletes with that. Um, one is that we provide something called a level guarantee. So any of the plans that we sell, let's say you're not using our subscriptions, but you're just buying an individual a la carte training plan. We always allow athletes to switch levels for free. So if they find the most common scenario, frankly, is that they bought a level zero or level one, and then they get much better, right? And they're, they're ready to commit to the level two and level three. So there's no extra cost, no need to buy a whole nother plan again, just because you're getting better or because your lifestyle changes, or maybe you do get injured, right? That you need to dial things down a little bit. We always allow that, uh, that change of process. And we have an easy way for you to do that online on our website. We also allow when people, um, as they develop their, um, their training and they find that, boy, I really hear about this power meter on the run or a power meter on the bike. I'm going to invest in that technology. But let's say they bought a structured workout based on heart rate. We also always allow people to switch based on their intensity type. So if you buy a, a marathon plan based on heart rate, and then you hear these great things about the stride power device, we'll let you switch to a, uh, a power plan for free, no extra charge. It's one of the reasons that we have so many plans is that we offer so many iterations of the intensity types in the structured workouts. So we have our marathon level one, zero, zero, two, and three levels, but also by pace, power, heart rate, and even perceived effort. And that, that adds up. So we can meet anybody's needs regardless of where they are, or if their needs change, we can change with them with that, with that new plan. Um, and then of course, we also offer just great support. If someone emails us and says, Hey, I had this marathon planned, um, COVID hit, we were really busy in 2020 with a lot of plan changes. <laughs> um, or, you know, I just had a baby or I got a new job or I had to move. We can help walk you through the impact of how you can make those adjustments so that you don't have to give up your training and give up your goals and still use a, a plan to help you walk through, um, and get that, that level of fitness, um, and make it easy in the process. How about more at the micro level? You know, I couldn't do today's workout. Uh, couldn't do the last two days worth of workouts. I, you know, that's a very common question with training plans. You know, how can an athlete go about moving forward? Do they make up for it? Do they get back on track. You know, what are, you, what are your suggestions around that scenario? Yeah, two, two things. I'm going to go ahead and tease platinum subscriptions, David. So speak now if you don't want me Perfect. to. Perfect. No, it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is, um, um, you know, something that's been, been a long time in coming. Um, you know, right now, all of that, all of that, it's really coaching is what you're asking about. So, you know, a plan is a plan, but then, you know, plans, you know, 
there's always some sort of mismatch between what the plan expects to happen for you and what actually happens in reality and like those missed workouts or, or whatever. Um, there's a myriad of things. And up to this point, it's really just been a customer service thing. Like, you know, you buy a plan or you, you, you buy a subscription. And then when there's a mismatch between expectation and reality, when surprises happen, you go to our forums and ask a question and we answer it, or you email us and we answer that question. Um, but we, what we want to do is, is, is turn this into something that is actual turn customer service, sort of ad hoc customer service into, um, you know, sort of like a built-in coaching light. Um, so it's kind of a unique model. It's a little different than, you know, what our competitors are doing. So what we're going to offer is like you, you uh, a higher level subscription that will still be very affordable where you get full access to all of our plans, ready-made plans, just as with a regular subscription, but you also have a certified 80-20 endurance certified coach uh, monitoring you. And so you'll get an initial consultation because often, often it's just like, you can avoid having to change things later by setting things up right now. So, you know, if all of our plans lead up to one A race, um, but if you know, a lot of athletes have, you know, two or three B races on the way to the A race, well, um, with the, the platinum subscription with, you know, a certified coach so, who's sort of assigned to you, they can, they can modify the appropriate ready, ready made plan to, to sort of, you know, retrofit it to make it a better fit. But they're also going to like check in with you on a weekly basis to do that sort of massaging and fine tuning that turns, you know, a good fit into a perfect fit the way one-on-one -on -one coaching would do. So it's, it'll, it will be not quite, you know, the, the full on, like, like one-on-one -on -one premium coaching, uh, you know, that is, has been around for, you know, ever. Um, but because of that, but it will still be coaching, you know, you know, qualified hands-on individualized coaching, but, you know, just with a lighter touch, which makes it uh, affordable for the athlete and then scalable for, for us. So we'll see, I think what there's going to be, I think this service will be popular. We're going to roll it out very, very soon. Um, David can probably, Give us a, a better read on that. Very, very soon. That's exactly <laughs> right. How many how many coaches do you, do you have in eighty twenty? Well, currently we have uh, four total employees. There's myself, Matt, and we have Hannah Hunstead, our director of brand and community engagement, and Leila Porteous, who is our director of training. And all of us are coaches, right? So all of us are, are endurance athletes, and we act as the, those ad hoc coaching experiences that Matt just described. Our plans don't include coaching, but we want people to succeed. So we've been responding to those more deep micro level questions on the forums, uh, on our, our you know, inbox, et cetera. Um, but as Matt alluded to earlier, one of the ways that we're diversifying and expanding is coming up with a certified 8020 coach certified process that we'll be rolling out where you can become a certified 8020 coach. Um, and so the answer today is four, which is all the employees of 8020 Endurance. But ask us again in two months, and we, we think that's going to be 50, 100, that this is already, we, we already have hundreds of people who have asked to join the, the early bird uh, wait list for this process. Um, and so we expect to have a lot of coaches in the next several months. And those coaches would be the pool that we would draw from for this new platinum um, okay. level of service where, you know, today uh, hiring a one-on-one -on -one coach, you really can't manage more than about 10 athletes before it just becomes unmanageable, right, with, with that one-on-one -on -one premium level. Um, but we think we can scale this because the plans are already built um, and we have a much lower cost. It's not going to be nearly as much as a one-on-one -on -one coach. This platinum offering will be much lower cost um, that we can have uh, our coaches pick up, you know, a couple dozen easily to manage at a given time. Um, so it's still coming, um, but we are very excited about it. It's the biggest change in our organization in the last couple of years. Can you give us any uh, insights as to the cost of the platinum yet? Are you really pinning this down, Derek? Oh, well, Matt, we can, you ready? Go we ahead. Kept <laughs> uh, we, we've talked about it, Matt. I think you have the pricing structure laid out, right? Yeah, we well, it's you know, we, we were spitballing in our last company summit, and we were coming down a, around the eighty to ninety bucks a month range, I believe. Um, yeah, so a yeah. little bit more than a subscription, but decidedly less than quality one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yeah, you know, it reminds me of. Back when I was coaching, I had a, I call it a quarterly program, and I charged one hundred thirty three dollars a month. But it, it included a one hour consultation, and then I would build the training plan for you. So it really kind of sounds like the same thing. It was yep. this hybrid model 
where it was it was really truly a, a plan specifically for you but then you got that feedback loop you know once a month granted but before the consultation i would actually go into their account and i would glean a lot of information you know i, I could spend 20 30 minutes kind of see the highlights the lowlights where we can make improvements i was prepared for the consultation spent an hour with them hopefully gave them a, a lot of great feedback and then and then from that i would build the next you know four week training plan so kind of does that sound a little bit like what you guys are creating yep it also sounds a little it sounds a little bit similar to uh, something that we've had for a while it which is um custom training plan service and and um and so you know you know you're actually helping us with our business uh on <laughs> in, in the moment because like i mean it occurs to me it's like well i mean do we like where do those live side by side because you know you know, uh, a custom plan is bespoke, you know, it's built from scratch, which is a little different from retrofitting ready-made plans and probably definitely, I want to say requires maybe a more experienced coach, but, but those, the, the, uh, custom plans did not, uh, include monitoring or feedback. So we, we've got some stuff to work out, Dirk, but I think you're the guy to help us. So thanks. thanks <laughs> well, I would that. charge, I charge $400 <laughs> up front. Um, it worked out to be 133 a, a month, but um, it, it was really successful, and I really actually enjoyed it as a part of part of my coaching when I was coaching. Um, you know, Dirk, I want to point out what you know Matt earlier talked about a couple of years ago. We decided consciously to diversify, and you've done a good job of running the gambit of, of all the diversification that 8020 has, has has come to. Is that if you want to buy an individual plan, you just want a transactional relationship with 8020 Endurance. Great, you can buy an individual plan. Go to the plan. You'll never hear from us again, right? If you want a little bit more, we have our subscription, right? Where you can be a part of our, our, our ecosystem and have access to all of our plans. And we provide a higher level of service with that. We're rolling out this, this platinum experience where you can have a little bit more of a coach, right? Experience. Um, but when we also, if you want a full on coach, we will have an army of certified coaches that you can go work with and, and have that one on one coaching experience. Even more is if you want to be a coach, we can help you with that <laughs> career line now too, right? You can Absolutely. become a certified 8020 coach and we can help you drive that career. And then finally, we have the, the new you know, camps that Matt has moved to Flagstaff. That's how committed he is to this, where you can be <laughs> embedded with the 8020 staff and resources. So we have this full spectrum now of training options from a $20 transactional plan to living with Matt. <laughs> I don't know any other coach that offers that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you said in, so, in the subscriptions, the gold and I assume platinum, the, they include the Training Peaks Premium. So um, what are some advantages of layering in a Training Peaks Premium account along with, uh, alongside uh, you know, your training plans? Yeah, you know, you can use Training Peaks without premium. Training Peaks is a great platform, the basic free account. All of our plans work great with the uh, the basic account. There's 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 the basic functionality. You'll be very successful without even paying you know for that premium price. And we include subscriptions that are a lower cost that don't include Training Peaks Premium if you don't want to have that extra level of of technology and service. Um, but what we find is that as athletes progress, um, that the ability to use those premium features to be able to make adjustments to be able to use the performance management chart, to be able to predict your training and, and the impact in your recovery. All the features that come with Training Peaks P Premium are well worth it. it it's almost like deciding to, to not do a, a triathlon with a wetsuit when you can use a wetsuit. Why would you not if, you, if it's allowed, right? It's a, it's a small little extra step and a small little extra cost that has a significant you know, return on investment. Um, so I, I would recommend to any athlete that it's well worth the Training Peaks premium cost. You don't have to do it. But those little extra benefits of customization, adjustments, of planning, of analysis, the performance management chart, um, recovery and, and, and fatigue analysis, make it well worth it and, and easy to recommend for me. Yeah, it's the, kind of that next level of of analysis, but also it can be simple analysis. You know, where did I get sick? Where did I get injured? Where did I peak? Where did I have my best actual wow. fitness and what led up to that? And then unlocking those secrets of what worked, repeat those, you know, what didn't work, let's try and stay away from that. Um, but this is kind of that, that level of, of finding those secrets that you can then apply going forward, you know, for next season, I always say, 
you know, when you enter your second year of collecting data, the data itself becomes infinitely more valuable. There's a lot of value in looking at today's data, but once you can look retrospectively after, you know, over an entire year's worth of trends, that sets you up for more success. And that builds upon itself year after year, once you're collecting that data and seeing the trends and getting together with an expert, you know, such as yourself to kind of yeah. like, what are you seeing that I'm not seeing and have that third party objective, you know, insight. Um, then, you know, I, I encourage any self-coached athlete at least to get a consultation a couple times a year with an expert because they can see things that you're not seeing, you know, yourself. That's right. And once you so, get older, like the three of us, it's nice to go back and look at the history and say, ah, oh, I used to be so good. Look how fit yeah. I used to be. Look amazing. Uh, so I have it's a good journal years. to remember. I have 23 years worth of data in training peaks and I, go. it's horrible to look back at my all time peak <laughs> values. I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, thanks guys. Uh, you know, maybe a last question here, where do you see kind of future, just random future thoughts around coaching training plans? Um, where do you kind of think, you know, 10 years from now, kind of, where do you see things? You know, I'll jump on that one first. Um, you know, for us, you know, it's, I guess I want to say it's an exciting time to be doing what we're doing. Maybe it, maybe it always is, but there's, it seems like there's a lot of ferment going on and, and, and we can count on things being further along in 10 years that things, the landscape will look different. And we, we feel like we have an opportunity to be at the forefront of that, which is exciting because we are coaches. So we have pretty strong opinions about the direction we want things to go. Um, and it's all about serving the best interests of, of athletes. Um, but the one thing, you know, a, a, an increasingly big focus for me and, and push is, um, is making the coaching profession more accessible, both to, well, let me put this, making coaching more accessible, both to athletes um, and to people who aspire to be coaches. Um, you know, it's just, you know, we, we all know just how, how valuable it is for athletes to have a coach and also how rewarding it is to, to be a coach. And it's just been, it's been a very self-limiting model for a, a long time where athletes think I'm not good enough to deserve a coach or, or to spend that kind of money. And, um, you know, and we're like for honestly with coaches, it's hard to make a go of it, you know, as a as a career, you know. Um, so I think we're in a position with our, you know, just our scale and visibility and just how much we care um, to to influence, to to greatly expand the number of athletes who have coaches and benefit from them and also you know expand the, num the number of people who move into the coaching profession and stay in it um, and are successful in it. So um, I, I think there's going to be an evolution here and I think, you know, we're going to have something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I love that thought. You know, I mean, the reason I started training peaks in the very beginning was to be able to give a better quality service to the athlete. And then from there, the opportunity to help every coach do the same. So it's definitely living on, um, definitely agree with your sentiment there. And, uh, you know, anybody's worth having a coach, you know, the majority of the folks that need a coach that can benefit the most, you know, don't have an FTP of 4.0 Watts per kilo, you know, it's more like 2.5 Watts per kilo, you know? So, and if you don't know what that means, then you know, you might need a coach, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> coaches can help you navigate around so many of the, I guess, time demands that we have in, you know, with work, life, um, family, and most, most folks have whatever, eight hours of train a week. So let's make the most of those eight hours, you know, and really help you reach your goals. So I appreciate that. Um, definitely glad to be along for the ride. So uh, thanks guys for, uh, being on the coach cast today with me. Our it was pleasure. great. Derek. Thank you for having us.